Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jonglo, the Jung, uh, the Jonglo Cage Fighting Series owner. Right here today is October twenty third. We have Francisco Campos officially signed. Will be making his MMA debut on our upcoming event, November thirteenth, at the heart of San Francisco, Keysar Pavilion. Now, Francisco, let's introduce you to all the MMA fight fans out there. Who you are and where are you coming from? Yeah, yes, sir. My name is Francisco Campos. Uh, I fight out of Albizo, California, born and raised. As you guys all know, it's a small little town uh, right up there in San Jose. Uh, I fight out of Alamay Gym, Alamay Fight Team, 1723 Rogers Avenue. If you're interested in learning a couple of things, definitely come on, hit us up. Um, yeah, man, I'm a small local Bay Area boy. So you're born and raised? Yes, sir. And you guys, your gym, your team, your coaches always bring the, bring the heat. I know the last event, I have one of your fighters on the card making a wheel. Uh, you know, like fashion TKO in the first what, two minutes, a minute or something. I forgot yeah. what. Uh, Skylar King. I'm hoping to get him back here one of those events in the future as well. So now, Francisco, what makes you, uh, let's say, how long ago you start training martial art? Uh, so, honestly, I've been training mixed martial arts for about two years now, all under Master uh, Leon. Uh -huh. um, I've known Master Leon for about three years, but I didn't get into it till about two years back. Had a couple of hiccups, bumps in the road, but um, ultimately I'm here. You know, this is my goal, I wanna fight, I wanna bang. And I wanna show everybody what uh, Master Leon could teach you in such a short amount of time. I know people train for eight years, six years. I'm gonna surprise a lot of people when I step in there. That's awesome, well I can't wait to watch him what you're going to do, especially after this pandemic. There's a lot of debuters coming up to the event, even my last event, so um, a lot of OGs seems like the pandemic wiped them out either financially or spiritually and you know, person personal problems. So now a lot of up and comer. You know, after the pandemic, so I can't wait to put on this event and watching all these up and comers. Now, um, what's your foundation of fighting? Break it down as a stand up guy, a wrestler, or a jujitsu guy. What do you f f put yourself into a category if you have to? Uh, if I had to, I feel personally I'm comfortable everywhere. Uh, I, know, I know a lot of people say that a lot, but really, I have no traditional background. I'm a street fighter. Um, but I'm comfortable everywhere. I've tapped out guys that have jujitsu backgrounds. You know, I've beat up guys that have kickboxing backgrounds. So it's like, I'm comfortable wherever it goes. I know my opponent also said he's comfortable wherever he goes, but at the end of the day, I don't think he's gonna wanna stand with me. I think he's gonna make a mistake if he does that. Now, who are you fighting on this upcoming event? Uh, I yeah. can't pronounce his name, Marilla. No problem, no problem. We had a couple of opponent switches, but his name's Marilla Focosa. Uh, Marilla Focosa. Yeah, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So I'm excited, I'm excited. Got a foreigner, I like it. Yeah, so a lot of Brazilians, they're pretty wild when they get in there, so can't really predict what they're going to do. Like, how do you, you know, prepare for guys like him? Uh, you know what? It's funny because um, when I heard about his jujitsu jitsu credentials, mm -hmm. that wasn't what sparked the interest and that wasn't what made me give him a little bit of a credibility. It was more that I heard he was from Brazil. So um, I know that he yeah. understands a tough upbringing, you know, tough environments. And I, I grew up in the same environments and the same upbringing. So I'm not gonna doubt this guy as some nobody or like he's never been there. If he's grown up in Brazil, I take it he's been in some tough environments. So mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put anything past him. I'm gonna give him my full attention, full respect, but I think he's gonna get it. Now you've got a lot of tattoos on you, uh, Francisco. Is, is any of those meaning something? Uh, just all it says is loyalty above all laws. Uh, the AA is for always ambitious, just to remind myself to always stay focused, motivated. Now you're fighting on this upcoming fight at uh, Featherweight about which means on 145 pounds what do you walk around weight uh so i walked around when i started my weight cut about 165 oh, that's right not, yeah not right, right. right right now i'm about 155 156 so very close to the fight weight yeah yeah no so how are you gonna handle a guy i think he might have a couple inches high advantage five on ten right five ten. five ten yeah i'm not worried about that at all i'm used to fighting tall. i'm a short guy so i mean my whole life i've been fighting taller people well so. you're same high as me and i'm short guy too so, so you, you understand you feel uh, they always yeah. say the taller they are the harder, harder they, they fall wrong, man yes sir so yes, with sir. that with the overhands getting ready right yes sir <laughs> hey, just make sure you keep that head down center don't don't bring that chin up because it's gonna get touched i'm telling you that's pretty awesome now if people want to get a hold of you to get tickets to come watching you fight Francisco, how can people contact you? Yeah, you can uh, actually hit me up on Instagram at king.op.key, that's K-I-N-G, period, O-P-P, -P, period, K-E-Y-Y, or you can hit me up on my Facebook, that's gonna be Francisco Charles. Uh, other than that, you can also check out uh, the team's Instagram, LMA Fight Team, you could get ticket inquiries through there, or if you're looking for a place to train, 
you know. So hit us up, man. You guys in San Jose, right? Yes, sir. Seventeen Twenty Three Rogers Avenue in San Jose. Master Leon, I know the person for a long time. Is definitely one of the true martial art OGs out there in the Bay Area. So you guys want to check him out? Make sure you guys check him out. Watching his fighters is gonna be um, dance in the November Thirteenth. Can't wait. Watching two MMA debuters. One from Brazil, one represent the Bay Area, one from the hood. <laughs> it's gonna dance right here. So I can I can uh, have more excited than watching this upcoming fight. Now, on this upcoming fight, do you want to shout out to anyone who um, a sponsor, coach, training partner, supporters that you want to shout out to? Uh, you know, just huge shout out to my family, friends. Um, Skyler, hopefully you're back in here soon, man. We need to get another W, baby. Other than that, just a huge shout out to Master Leon, uh, Ron Leon. I apologize about that. Um, I'm just like so, so excited to show you guys what Master Leon could teach someone in such a short amount of time. Like somebody from my pedigree, having no sort of background traditional training, you're gonna, it's gonna be amazed, I promise you. That's awesome. Well, I can't wait to watching him. Uh, from what Skylar King did the last event, was pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty explosive a statement right there. So I'm hoping to see one more deja vu watching you uh, put on a show on November 13th. So uh, now if your opponent, Murillo, watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Uh, you know what, man? Good luck, train hard. I hope you don't underestimate me because <laughs> it's gonna be a problem for you, brother. Uh, yeah, that's all I gotta tell you. It's good luck, man. I'll see you November 13th. Are you gonna put him to sleep? Or what, what you, what's so that? honestly, I feel like if you stand with me, you're gonna make a huge mistake, man. I'm letting you know that right now. You can watch this interview. Don't do it, bro. But I feel like if you shoot on me, <laughs> I would love to tap out a jujitsu guy just to have that under my belt. Like, belts don't mean nothing here. This is MMA, man. I love that confidence. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have Francisco Campos making his MMA debut. Making sure you guys come out, support your local fighters, get a ticket from Francisco, give him some love and support. Um, make sure you guys smash the like button on my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and subscribe my YouTube channel. And this event's live stream pay-per-view nationwide. If you guys cannot make it to the event, order your live stream pay-per-view voucher from DragonHouseMMA.com. This event, uh, it's gonna be broadcast also in Mongolia because we have a Mongolian fighting championship. Also, it's gonna be at the event. So um, a lot of overseas fighters coming to this event. Very exciting. A lot of up-and-comer from the Bay Area. Uh, can, uh, can stop uh, talk about it. The next event is gonna be next year at Cow Palace, March 26th. Contract's already signed, so we're getting ready for that. After this event, I'm taking a little break, maybe a couple weeks, and then um, we'll ride back at it. So all the five fighters want to get on that next upcoming car, make sure you guys DM me March 26th. It's going down. All right, I'm Joan Lowe signing out. Good to have you. Yes, sir, good to have you as well. Oh, signing out. Okay.